Hi there, this is David with AppWorks, and today I'm going to do another FileMaker Basics. Uh, this is basically a video version of one of our blog posts, one of our more popular blog posts, I should add, and that is displaying PDF files in FileMaker. Um, you can actually read this yourself at app.works slash displaying PDF files in FileMaker, um, but I'm going to just actually show you the basics of this. and. Um, in FileMaker, we have got what's called a container field. Container fields can hold documents, binary documents, essentially. So we've got right here, um, this is not real data, by the way, but this is a real system that we're uh, putting into production, and uh, it has places to put a document. And when you click on this, you can actually see the container field here. And this is a PDF, and in fact, it's fully functional. If you click on one of these, you've got an actual PDF that you can uh, interact with, you can copy um, text from. It's super handy. And there's native support for PDFs in FileMaker, and I'll show you how that works. Basically, when you're in layout mode, you've got a field on your layout that is a, a container field. Um, over on the left, uh, the right-hand side on this editing panel, there's down at the bottom we've got data formatting, and this is on the the uh, data uh, panel. Um, normally, the default setting is images, JPEG, PNG, BMP, etc., and that's optimized for those file types. So I'll I'll show you an example of that. So this is. Um, still a PDF, but it's basically just looks like a JPEG. If we scroll through these, this is a document, um, a Word doc. Uh, it's just going to show you an icon. You can't actually interact with that, at least not in this scenario. Um, here's another uh, PDF. PDF. This is a PNG, so basically you've got an image that you can view, and that's about it. Um, when we go back into here, we select this container field, and we choose Optimize for Interactive Content, PDF, MP3, etc. So you can put a QuickTime movie in here, MP3, anything that QuickTime can interact with. Um, uh, but what we're interested in here is PDFs, of course. Um, when you have this setting optimized for um, interactive content, and you go back into browse mode, now each of these is actually an interactive PDF in which you can select text, you can fill out uh, fields if it's built for that, you can look at the individual pages, you can import and export it if you right click, you can zoom in, zoom out, um, look at multiple pages, things like that. You can actually um, pull it out of here as well. But that's the, that's the crux of it. The entire thing is that you need to have the setting for your container field on the layout optimized for PDFs. Um, it's a super handy thing, especially when you've got clients who want to store documents in their systems, uh, specifically PDFs. It's much easier for them to store it here and be able to look at it here rather than have to download it and open it up elsewhere. So uh, I hope that's useful. Uh, it's definitely one of the FileMaker basics that you should be aware of and be able to utilize all over the place. Uh, that's it. And once again, remember to get some additional information from our blog post, which has um, all kinds of additional uh, technical aspects of this, and it shows you how it works. Written by Carl Dreyjiri. He's pretty amazing. Um, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.